We were saving $3 million a month. But that's about how much we were paying the, the yeah. Chinese. $3 million they were paying them. Now, it was difficult. And, and I tell you, we love the Chinese, but even the operating manuals were in Chinese. So all you have to do is just sit and just look at them. So it's a very difficult experience. Nevertheless, we learned something enough and we trained ourselves enough to be able to take over. Sharks. Three million dollars a month savings. Welcome again to the Washington SXM podcast. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified whenever I drop a video. So today we're gonna to talk about um Ghana, how they replace the Chinese engineers with Ghanaians and running and saving over three million dollars per year because of those sort of one change that they did in the IO refinery. Ghana made, Ghana built and Ghana run by now. So let's get into the hit. Listen to the listen to the Prime Minister the, the, the engineer the, the CEO of the company talks. To sustain this industry for us. So building the requisite intellectual capacity is really key to us. The Ghana Gas story is an exciting one. The first is indigenization. Indigenization essentially using local intellectual capital to run your business. Let's talk about indigenization. So Ghana Gas, um, after incorporation in July of 2011, we went through a period of construction of the infrastructure. At the end, of November, our, no, I would say the middle of November, we had finished what we call mechanical completion. Mechanical completion means we put all the bolts and nuts together. Everything yep. seems to, That was in November of 2014. Then we went through a period of commissioning. It took about six months. So by the end of April 2015, the plant was fully commissioned and the pipelines Attend down to the plant also where all this time the plant w w was being operated by Chinese. We love the Chinese, but we didn't want to stay with them for <laughs> too long. <laughs> now, Fox. indigenous Ghanaian engineers and technicians took over the operation of this plant. Now, I say this not That's just, good. but not serious. I've, I've actually worked in this industry for 31 years. I'm um, stick up in there. You hear what he just said? The Chinese financed the building of the plant, right? And it was built from scratch, come up. So, but I think they have, yeah, but they must have signed some from a contract stating they have to hire Chinese engineers to run the plant. Maybe for a while or for a certain amount of years or. Because the plant was built in 2011, I think, as he said earlier in the video, right? But. I'm getting tired of hearing people who don't know about business saying the Chinese are buying out Africa or they are um, recolonizing Africa. China is a, a country that's business minded. So they did, not, they did not force money on anyone. If you would take the money on your own to, in your country to do something, then you have to repay it. If you don't, then there's clause in the country that says, okay, I will take this, I will take that. But well, you have to use your head as a finance minister of any country to know to sign a deal with the Chinese. So I don't really blame them for what they're doing, but you have to be the the, the, the countries have to be more smart and um the finance ministers of those countries have to be more smart on how to um sign deals with sign deals with China. Can look Ghana did and look what they did. China take over the plant. Not China, I'm uh, sorry, my bad. Ghana took over the plant and running it fully be fully run by by Ghanaians right now. So let's continue before I go any further in this, in this. Let's continue. And then both Canada and the US and a host of other countries. This is the first time that I've seen a turnaround. In other words, having foreign operators see operatorship to indigenous engineers and technicians the shortest time, three years, and this was March of 2017, that all, all those who were operating our, our plants and pipelines, those in the control rooms, listen up to this part, operating force, 
our storage facility areas, all Ghanaians. In comparison, or to put it in context, it took our friends in Trinidad and Tobago 40 years to fully hmm. seed or assume operatorship of their infrastructure in Trinidad, Point Lisas, Nigeria, our neighbors. It took them 50 years. It took our Ghanaian young engineers, men and women, technicians, three years. I think they deserve it now. Of three course. Years. Yes. Stick up, stick up in there again. And I see that. I think that's what. And this applies to the Caribbean as well. Like I'm Jamaican. This applies to Jamaica because Jamaica have the Chinese um, doing a lot of business in Jamaica and they are doing things that is not so on the up and up. But I blame the government for that. I don't blame the Chinese and other Caribbean islands. So you hear what they said? They took what the they, the Chinese did with other countries, like for instance, Trinidad, as in mentioned, I didn't even know that. Trinidad, Nigeria and a couple other countries in Africa does and cause a couple other countries in Africa, right? So all you have to do is take what you know from and learn from other countries that made the mistakes and you don't make those same mistakes. As I said, it's a business deal. So naturally if you're gonna sign a contract Remember now, business is about projection. When they're doing business and taking loans, it's about projection. They're projecting what they're going to make and what they can what they can make and what they cannot make. So that's how they give a loan. So if you know you're going to take, say, $700 million from the Chinese to, to do a project, you have to make sure they, they come, they, that, that business can turn over that cash to repay that loan. So you don't have to hold the Chinese, no, no, um, any, you don't have to hold them any favors, basically, right? So they don't, they don't, they don't have to go and take something. It's like, it's like a bank. If you can't pay back, they want something as collateral. So that's what Chinese do with if with Jamaica card, hey Jamaica is running the Jamaican port. That's mean Jamaica took a loan, can't repay it, so the Chinese seize the collateral to make back their money and then they will turn it back over, basically. And they and they're they doing they are doing this worldwide. So America is caring the I'm um, doing this scare tactic saying the Chinese are doing um what do they call it? Debt um debt traps. I don't believe it's debt traps. But you know what? Before I go any further, let me finish the video and then we can talk about it. Now, whilst we are at it, we're saving $3 million a month. But that's about how much we're paying the yeah. Chinese. $3 million they were paying them. Now, it was difficult. And, and I tell you, we love the Chinese, but even. The operating manuals were in Chinese, so all you have to do is just sit and just look at them. It was a very difficult experience. Nevertheless, we learned something enough and we trained ourselves enough to be able to take over. Facts. Three million dollars a month savings. That's what the Caribbean, what the Caribbean islands must do, including St. Martin, where I'm at, Essex, and our French territory. To date, to date, and um, six years later, you see that we've also built solid intellectual capital, solid intellectual capital to sustain the industry. Since we've 2017, been successful full maintenance shutdowns. It's, it's just like taking your car and taking it apart and reassembling, and then it runs. That is no small feat. We've done three of those. And that is also very significant. Very. It is significant. And no one lost time to injury. Other plants. Recently there was a car accident. But operations of the plant, we're talking about millions of man hours with no lost time to injury. That is also significant. You see. Rounds of applause for that. Rounds of applause for that. That's just good. We've had people come from near and far, some from Switzerland, Italy, to come and just take a look at our plants. To come and take a look at our plants. How neat it is, how well run it is. Everyone there is a Ghanaian. These are the men and, and that's the key, listen, the indigenous Ghanaians. 
then some two men actually working on the valve over there as well. But when you go, and if you do that time, we will sponsor you. Come and take a look at our plant and see what the Ghanaian men and women are doing over there. We wish Okay, stick up in there. Um shout out to to the AS1 channel. I this is where I, I took this video from I couldn't find the original video, so I had to use this video. Go check him out over there, AS1 our, um channel. He's an African he's a Ghanaian who is doing um YouTube in Ghana, so he knows what he's talking about. Anyway, so let's get back to what I was saying. That's beautiful because the country they they take the loan, build the factory build everything the internet was running it and the 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 ceo of the company what he did they make sure the engineers the Ghanaian young engineers went to the proper schools get the degrees and learn from the chinese and then take it over that's how any business should be run and i'm talking about globally i'm talking about especially the caribbean because the chinese is not the only group of people that lend money the imf which is a criminal organization. Um, not a criminal, let me, let, let, let me not say criminal. The IMF is a, a, um, a loan shark, basically. Because they loan money to the Caribbean islands and then they try to bleed them dry. Uh, that's how the IMF works. When the IMF comes into the country, no, it's going to be hell to get them back out of the country. And that's what America is trying to scare the world now with Chinese, but the Chinese is not the Chinese is not like that. It's just that they take good business sense and a politician on a, on a standpoint of a politician, the finance ministers of these foreign countries. I'm talking about globally here, I'm not talking about any specific country. And the economic uh, and economic ministers have to come together and draw up a proper plan, sign a proper deal to know that okay you're getting a loan, so you need to uh, we need to get it paid back by this another time. And this is our collateral, and, and, and we have to make sure the money is made. So it's like, let me simplify it for people who don't understand um, the global economy. I understand it on a small level, not on a grand level. I'm not an economist, but I do understand some things when it comes to the economy, right? But let's, like a household. If you have a house, right? It, 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 your bills in the house cost, say, let's say $1,000 per month. We're talking about food, light, water, gas, and all of that, right? All right, let's as a guest house, right? So if you're gonna, let's say you have five rooms, each room is a hundred dollars, let's say per week, right? So if you take a loan from the bank to expand your your your, your hotel, right? But you're projecting you're gonna make let's say five thousand a month of the extra rooms, but remember it's a projection. That doesn't mean that's what you're gonna make. It's just projection. So. One month to make three thousand, next month to make two thousand, and that's how the Chinese get to take over, hold onto the collateral from the loan and use it, and then to be better cars. Your projection didn't pan out the way you are, and then that's why I said people must be careful when you're signing deals and you're putting collateral. You have to be careful on your projections. I mean, don't project do your projection on a on the high end. Do your projection on a, like the middle, the mid, the, the medium, the middle end, the middle. So even if you don't reach to the, the high end, you still can manage to pay back and manage yourself even uh, if you get half the amount that you're projected to. And that's what most companies, most countries are not doing. Especially Jamaica, because the Chinese build roads and all kinds of things in Jamaica and they hold them millions of dollars. The Chinese hold it the whole, um, for the next 20 years in Jamaica, the Chinese own the highway, basically. And those are the kind of deals I don't like because they're not, the company, the, the, the governments are not signing proper deals, they're not doing the proper homework. So, I don't blame the Chinese, just as how I can, but I can blame the IMF because they definitely try to go into poorer countries to give them loans with it that they know they can pay back and then they take over the government and do they, um, and, and do they, the budget for them. One money they can spend, what they can spend, what they can do, what they can do here, you can do this project. You have to you have to do this project. You can use that money for that. And, and that's what the IMF does. They're doing it right here now in um where in Eastern Martin with the on the Dutch side, where the IMF they have get a loan and they are they are dictate they wanna dictate the budget, how it's supposed to um what the budget should be, what they can what can be in it and so forth and so forth and so forth and so on. And so people stop blaming the Chinese. The Chinese are business people. You just have to be more, you have to be smart when dealing with the Chinese. And like Ghana did, 
Ghana is one of the most Ghana is one of the emerging economies right now in, in Africa. So they have Chinese have spent a little over a couple or a few billion they have in Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ghana. Only only country I think don't have any loan from the Chinese is Rwanda actually. But um, um I think over twenty uh, I don't want to be mistaken. I think the Chinese invest a little over eight fifty to seventy billion in Africa right now they have. And America don't like that because you see, America don't help countries to grow. America only send aid aid to countries then to get favors in return. So if a country will need money to build something, they don't do it. What they do, they send aid, they send food, water and Red Cross, which is under the criminal, which is under the criminal um, um, organization, because they are a bunch of thieves, the Red Cross. Um, so that's what happening right now with Africa, with America. They want to paint Afri China as a boogeyman, but they are not. It's just take America is actually a boogeyman. They are the thief because they have been um, sucking the lifeblood of Africa. As I tell you. They don't give loans to African nations. They only send AIDS. So who the hell want AID? When they say we tell you we want cash, you send an AID. Well, we don't want AID. Because then now you send them AID, then you say, oh, you, you become dependent on them because they're sending food, water, medicine, and all that for um they don't they, instead of building the infrastructure, they don't want to do that. They are there make it dependent on them so they can use you when they want. So and most African countries right now. Is starting to realize that and, and and rising up and putting a foot forward and putting the America this is enough we can do it on our own America and France right now are on the are on the, um, the decline in, 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 um, in Africa because of you're trying to use Africa so Ghana Nigeria South Africa South Africa Rwanda all those countries are pushing back right now the presidents are being good and pushing back on the Western world and for, for, for um, using Africa. And they finally coming to their senses. And that's why you see they have so many emerging economies right now in Africa. So, hope you guys learned something too. That's the goal. Is to, every time I do a video, is to teach you, not teach, I don't want to be so um, arrogant. If I to learn something new about Africa, let's say that. So, you don't know. Thanks for watching. You don't know. Don't forget to subscribe and help. It's a new channel and help me to grow. So, don't forget to click the like button as well. So, you don't know. Peace, one love, boom.